This as there is a growing sense of concern inside the White House as well for the negative reaction to Whitaker's appointment. Joining me now is Democratic Congressman Mike Quigley of Illinois. He serves on the House Intelligence Committee. Congressman, thanks for taking the time this morning. Good morning. First, let me ask you, you heard Nancy Pelosi there, the speaker there, say that this is a perilous time. In your view, is, with Whitaker as the attorney general, is the special counsel investigation and is Robert Mueller's job in jeopardy? Oh, absolutely. Uh, I think there's a reason that the president of the United States waited till after the midterms to take this action. Uh, and I heard many of his, my colleagues say, well, he shouldn't do anything till after the midterms. If it was wrong to do it before the midterms, uh, it has to be wrong to do after the midterms. It is an area of great concern. The rule of law is at threat. Let me ask you this. You, you, you've heard some of Whitaker's public comments criticizing the Mueller investigation. He's also made other comments that are drawing some concern uh, from Democrats and, and, and from some Republicans, frankly. I want to play one of those comments now for your reaction. Have a listen. If that happens, then we're going to do the same thing, and government comes to a halt. They got nothing, zero. You know why? Because there is nothing. But they can play that game, but we can play it better, because we have a thing called the United States Senate. Sorry, that, uh, that, was, not, that was not the clip. Uh, let, let me just yeah. briefly, I do want to get your reaction to the president, but briefly summarize what he said. Uh, he, he said that judges, and I'm paraphrasing some here, that, that judges... Uh, need to have a biblical sense uh, in terms of making their decisions. What, what do you make of a comment like that? I like to see things like their worldview, what informs them, are they people of faith, do they have a biblical view of justice? Is that a problem for an, for an acting attorney general? I think the acting attorney general or any attorney general should be mindful of the laws and the Constitution of the United States of America. Uh, if if we're going to start quoting the scripture when we're before the judges of the Supreme Court as reasons they should make a decision, uh, it is obviously an area of great concern. Uh, the president has, if he's so uh, enamored with the Constitution, he should go back and peruse the First Amendment. Um, so different interpretations. We're a country of different faiths. We're a country that recognizes that people have a right uh, to be agnostic or atheist. So. Uh, it, it's not a surprise. It's a president that's moved in that direction. Uh, I'm a person of, who has a faith, but uh, uh, it is only one aspect of the type of person I am. But we are a nation of laws, mm -hmm. and I think the president forgets that. It, now to the president's comment there. Basically issuing a threat, saying if you as the Democrats take control of the House, investigate me, I will use the Senate uh, to investigate the Democrats. What's your response to that? threat. Yeah, again, it's not a surprise. Uh, I have served with uh, Republicans on the House Select Committee on Intelligence that were complicit in the president's attacks on the independence and the ability of the Justice Department and the intelligence community. Uh, they were complicit um, in working with the president to obstruct this investigation. So to think that the United States Senate, and I'd be curious to see how uh, the intel chairman there views what the president said, that this is just a war on each other instead of the natural oversight of one branch of government over another. Final question, if I can ask you. We now have uh, recounts in a number of places. Let's highlight in Florida and in Georgia, Georgia for the governor and Florida for, for both the governor uh, and, and the Senate. There you have the president uh, publicly tweeting. Uh, that there may be criminal activity by Democrats there, and yet in both those races you have Republican state officials overlooking, in effect, the recounts. Are, are you concerned uh, that these recounts may not proceed fairly? Uh, I think there's a, a great concern on how elections are handled at all times. Uh, I was uh, as strong a supporter for spending more money on election equipment to make sure we protect the integrity of our electoral process. I did this primarily because of the attack of uh, the Russians, first in my own state. Well, we spent $380 million in 2018 to buy new election equipment, provide training, anti-hacking software. Uh, but it wasn't, it's been since the Bush-Gore hanging Chad catastrophe 
uh, where the integrity of our electoral process was challenged. Uh, we're facing that again internally. And the better our election equipment, the less likely that someone com can commit fraud. We have about 13 to 15 states that don't even have a paper record so that we can appropriately audit those states, including Georgia. So if we're serious about the electoral process, having the integrity it needs, we need to spend the resources at the federal level to ensure that very integrity. Congressman Mike Quigley, thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you.